Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the second Resident Evil 7 video. After doing a little bit of reading, uh, there's actually a hidden puzzle within the, the demo, the final demo. Um, so the first video that was released earlier, it was just kind of like my blind play playthrough. Um, but this, there is a, a user on NeoGAF who's actually listed a very detailed description of of what you need to do. So let's get to it. So start off by getting the fuse uh, and putting it in. And we'll go... Uh, actually, we won't go upstairs yet. We'll go through the new area and we'll get that notebook. Uh, which was in this one here. Blank notebook. Okay, so then we will pick up the dummy finger, which should be here. And then we will go upstairs. Sorry, I'm I'm currently I'm still reading up on this as well, but it's kind of a very nifty thing. Uh, so we'll go to the and the room behind the broken wall, which is behind here. Uh, read the scrolls on the wall next to the TVs. So there's the TVs, and there's a scroll here. Five guests. Murdered, but where is unknown? Nothing to point to their final gravestones. Um, and that was. So we'll check the inventory, and there's now something scribbled inside which says, Grace will not wake when the clock makes its chime. Her covers, her covers are heavy, and it's her bedtime. Um, in in the stack directly. Object made of celluloid, and if we combine those with that, then we get the left hand. Okay, so we are now set it up. So while holding, observe the scrolls on the attic. There are two things you must solve. Uh, there's giggles and there's murder spots. So the clue talks about a clock and a heavy sheet for their final sleep. So let's go down to the first floor. So there's a clock here. There's a fallen bookshelf. So apparently, if we go here and examine, actually point it. Let's try. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. So you heard that noise? So basically, if we were to go back up here, we can actually check. And there we go, we have a bloody handprint which shows us that we're doing something good. Okay, so, uh, we need to leave, have the blank note to trigger and we'll need an item. So we need the VHS tape, so, we need to do everything to get to the tape, which is just get the pliers. Drop. Okay, 
Okay, so we have the tape, so let's go back upstairs to the attic. Okay, and it says... Boarded door at the end of the hallway. Oh, past that one. Through here, and look at the light. Okay, oh, wrong button again. And we have another one. Feels tucked in tight on his cold, stiff bed. He's having sweet dreams of not being dead. Okay, so now we need the basement key from the attic. So let's go and get the basement key. Uh, which is over here. And we need to go down and enter the basement and we'll just have to avoid so we'll just have to go in and despawn the monster the fuck was that okay bit. Fuck, where the fuck am I? There. Okay, well, let's get up the stairs and hopefully he will despawn. Okay. gone now. Oh no, he's not gone. Great, okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, anyway, um, so where's the gurney? This one. Okay, so we need to get the dummy finger out and point at it. Oh. Okay, so now we need to get the axe. So, there's a lock pick down here, right there. Um, so let's go and get the axe. Yes, I know I'm infected. You can show me. Will you calm down, please? Okay. Okay. 
Okay, so we have an axe. Uh, so let's go, and we need to find the lady with the red. Her. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, so now. Oh, wrong button again. Stanley was told to go hide and seek, but they wouldn't let him out no matter how much he shrieked. Okay, so. There's a room under here, which is creepy as fuck, and there's a barricade room. So let's have a little wrong button again. Let's point to the room. Point to the room. The room. The room. Right there. Okay, so now this should be a black mirror. Nope. Oh. And you've got to do a quick turn, which is down in circle, uh, and that enables this one to go. Marlene was so proud of her white and blue necklace, it made her feel tall and left her quite breathless. So let's go back to the attic. I'm getting sick. I'm getting very sick. So I just need to make sure I don't go anywhere near there. So there is blue and white wires and they cross there. So we need to point that dummy hand right there. Creepy. Okay. So. Now we need the last giggle. Uh, so the giggle is back into the basement. Not doing too well at the moment, am I? <laughs> Apparently, you're supposed to just look at this. So, nothing, so people have also speculated that you need to go into the VHS world first. So I'll just quickly do that and come back and see whether that fixes it. New deal. We, we find Andre and we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm covering all bases, so I've watched the video a couple of times. I've read the bash you against this oh man he that i forgot how creepy that was <laughs> i forgot about that oh uh and i'm unlocking the back door but not going through it um, fuck's sake stop it so we'll see how that goes okay so it's unlocked Unlocked. Watch the video, seen the ghost at least twice. So let's go down the basement 
see if we can get the final giggle, because this one's a little bit up in the air at the moment. Uh, but apparently it doesn't matter if you get bit or not by the monster, so we'll just see. Okay, well, let's go back. Unfucking believable. <laughs> there we go. We got the giggle. So, all I did there was I was watching the video, I opened the back door. Uh, I opened, I unlocked the back door, but I didn't go through it, and I watched the video and saw the ghost twice. I don't know whether that will help, but anyway, Timmy did not mind the harsh light of four suns. Eyes require heads, and he did not have one. So this one, sadly, uh, sadly, what happened to Timmy? It's not a very nice tale, unfortunately. He's dinner, so we're gonna go to the kitchen. Uh, and point our dummy finger at the uh, the lovely meal that's been prepared for everyone. Right. There. That's where Timmy went. Okay, so now we should be able to go to the attic and hopefully not fuck everything up because I am sick. So we'll just need to stick very close to the right wall and go through the bloody door. Unlocked. And we have a rocking chair. You are the best ever. There is a dirty coin. Look at that, dirty coin. Okay. Not creepy or anything. Okay, and then let's go and finish the game. Or at least attempt to, at least. And there we go! Infected ending, Resident Evil 7. But, we solved the mystery of the five murders. So we got the dirty coin, which will be transferred to the main game if we have saved data for the demo. So there you go! That's the hidden puzzle in Resident Evil 7 teaser beginning hour midnight version edition. Jesus, that is a mouthful. If you like this video, please hit the like button below. If you want to subscribe to some more game jump material and some more Resident Evil, please hit the subscribe button. And as always, until next time, this is the Game Jam, signing out. <laughs>